Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Bronx. This is Tarot Talk. These are Tarot Tings and I'm your host, Boogie, Boogie, Boogie Down Bronx. And I am here to take care of the Saggies. Sagittarius, how are you? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading can resonate for you. I know y'all are upset with me because you're last, but everybody's got to be last one time, right? At least once or twice. It's okay. It'll get done. But we're here now. So, Sagittarius, let's see what you guys need to surrender for the month of September, the rest of September. What do Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to surrender for September? Two Sagittarius. All right. Um, my shirt is like, I spilled something on it. So, if you see like, you know, it's, it's still drying. But <laughs> so the first card out for you guys was surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So Sagittarius, you've been in denial about something, whether this be um, in denial about a certain situation that's happened, denial about what's happening, denying the difficult parts of the situation. But you want to try to take off that blindfold. And allow yourself to see what's really happening, okay? You've been in denial about something that's been happening with yourself or with other people or in a situation. And do your best to, um, you know, try to see it for what it is so then you can work on accepting it and moving on, okay? Denial. Also, surrender stubbornness is at the bottom. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar into your life. So also, Sagittarius, I feel like, you know, there's beliefs that started from childhood or beliefs that have happened due to um, things falling apart, things not working out in your favor, and it, it affects the way you look at yourself, okay? But let go of these beliefs that, you know, you're not worthy of whatever it is you're trying to attract, you're not good enough, you know, labels that other people have put on you, what you've put on yourself, you know, those voices that always tell us, oh, no, you're going to fail. Oh, no. Don't do this. Don't do that. Surrender those beliefs. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Um, Capricorn had this as well, I think. So you could have Capricorn in your chart. But yeah, surrendering to passion is going to be very important for you. Surrendering to what makes you feel alive, okay? I feel like some of you haven't been in a space to um, do your passion or maybe you don't know what your passion is. But, you know, try to try to channel that energy and figure out what it is that makes you feel alive, makes you feel whole, complete, joyful, and start there. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarii. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. See what's going on for you guys for right now what's going on for Sagittarius in the current moment please Sagittarius what's happening for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus I saw the nine of swords in my head I don't know it might come out it seems like you guys are um having anxiety a lot of it let's see Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus what's happening for Sagittarius symbolizing the Venus. The Fool. New beginnings. What's happening for Sagittarius symbolizing the Venus right now? Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you guys, a lot of you are, um, a lot of karma is being dealt, okay? So if you've been working hard, if you've been, you know, trying to do the right thing, get things in order, get things aligned, um, justice card is here to balance out the scales of, you know, if people have been not so great to you, you know, if things have been not the best, people haven't been treating you right, you're going to get this karma sorted out and it's going to really push you through. Cancerian energy, cancer, the chariot, you're going to be pushing through. Three of Pentacles, um, for some of you being able to work with other people, collaborate on different projects and ideas. Queen of Wands, passion, going towards your passion. 
this woman looks a lot like the woman on that other card. That's interesting. But yeah, moving towards your passion um, and people noticing that. Then you have the King of Cups here as well. Something that brings you a lot of emotion and um, emotional stability. And then the Fool card, okay? The New Beginning. Let's get more information. Why is the Fool card here? Why is the Fool card here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah, something that, that um, these are these limited belie limiting beliefs that you were carrying. The Ten of Swords in reverse. So, you know, really letting go. It's like you guys are right at the end of, you know, closing up this chapter. But it's like it's still, it's still sticking. It's still sticking. What else about the Fool? Sun and Rising and Venus. I mean, not the Fool. A Sagittarius, Sun and Rising and Venus. Yeah, yeah, and then wait, let me let me get this Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like some of you have um, been having to hold back your emotions, and it's like you're really wanting to express it. That's a sun card. Here. Woo! Oh yeah, yeah. Some of you guys are about to be um, happily or freshly single. Um, but it's it's an it's a good thing. It's abundant. You're gonna feel uh free if you've been in a situation where you've been feeling trapped. Two of Cups in reverse. The Sun card clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Independent business owner. <laughs> For some of you, you're gonna be moving into this period of um. It was somebody else that was dragging you down. It could be anybody. Um, maybe somebody, a friend, a family member. Um, it could be a partner, whoever. But it's like somebody was holding you back from reaching your fullest potential here. And I feel like you're going to start cutting. <laughs> you're going to start cutting people off. I feel like you're going to start cutting people off that um, were making you feel moody, maybe not in control of your emotions. And look, Leo energy and nine of pentacles. Abundance, independence, joy, and happiness. Clarifying the fool. Lots of new beginnings, guys. Lots of new beginnings. But I do feel like there is something that you have to cut out. And that's, that's, you know, it'll be different for everyone what that is, but, oh yeah, and the page of cups in reverse, something that you have to turn your emotion off for in order to get to this success and push through to where you want to be. All right, that's interesting. Let's see what else we have here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The rest of September, please. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The rest of September. You. Wait one second. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for, um, why is the Six of Pentacles here for, some, some of you have been overindulging in something. Six of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse here for Sagittarius? Chariot, again. I could be dealing with a Cancer. Some of you guys have been, um, drinking a lot. But there's about to be a birth of a new... A birth of a new project, the Empress card. This looks kind of like the um, Strength card, but the Empress card. Um, a birth of a new project, a new idea, a new something. Could be an actual birth, like, you know, childbirth. What else for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Whoa. Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. It's like um, it's like the messages are mixed. One second, y'all. Let me see what this is about. Why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse for Sagittarius? Wow. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse for Sagittarius? 
feel like for some of you, um, for some of you, you were having a hard time. You have like a lot of little conflicts with conflicts with people. Five of Wands upright. Um, but some of you were having a hard time. This could have been a, a, a job situation. Three of Pentacles in reverse or in regards to your work. But I feel like you're going to be moving towards, um, moving based off of feelings more so, okay? But at the same time, still feeling guarded to whatever you're moving towards. For some of you, you're moving in a different direction career-wise. Five of Pentacles in reverse, but your, your financial situation will be improving. But um, I definitely feel like you, it, this could be your emotions, but this can also be you and another person. Um, again, with the King and Queen of Cups, now one is in reverse, one is upright. Maybe you're you're trying to connect with somebody and it's just not working emotionally. And this could be really giving you a lot of anxiety, pain, um, confusion. And so maybe you might decide to cut this off in order for you to, you know, move in the direction, Page of Cups, and kind of figure out what it is that you need. Um, and then you have, like I said here, the chariot pushing through, pushing forward. But then you also have these other cycles that you're needing to close up and six of pentacles here in reverse. Uh, for some of you, I feel like maybe you're, you're needing to be more selfish with your time, with your energy and with your finances. Um, I had something that was coming through. I can't, I can't, it's not here yet. You also have the, um... The Empress and the Emperor. Ooh. For some of you, you're going to be meeting with a, a, a soulmate or a twin flame. And you're, you're going to be like a, a power couple, you know? <laughs> a power couple. But I feel like Ten of Cups in reverse. You had this 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 you have this vision for your future. And for some of you, I feel like you're, you're feeling like you can't get there. Um, Ten of Cups in reverse. You're feeling like it's distorted or it just seems like a, an illusion or like a dream. Eight of Swords in reverse, though. You're going to be moving out of this period of overthinking too much and um, having all this anxiety and also getting out of this state of denial because this person also has the blindfold on, just like the um, Surrender Denial card. So Eight of Swords Reverse, you're getting out of that denial stage. And also, Six of Cups Upright. You might get a message from your past, okay? Just FYI, Page of Swords, Six of Cups. You might get a message from someone from your past. But also, I just feel like you're going to be reflecting upon your past and taking lessons that you've learned in your past and bringing them to the forefront on how you can move forward, which is really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, let's get some advice for the Sagittarius. Sorry, my cat is playing with something. That didn't work. Advice for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa. Can I have some advice, please, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Can I have some advice, please, for Sagittarius? Some advice, please, for Sagittarius. Six of Cups reversed. Again. Oh, wait a minute. You're like the third sign, maybe, to get that. Six of Cups in reverse. Maybe the fourth. Six of Cups in reverse. What else for Sagittarius as advice? Please. Wow. <laughs> what else for Sagittarius? As advice. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like illusions surrounding you guys. Whether this be illusions about um, yourself and what you, who you are, what you are, what you're able to do. Um, I definitely feel like there's like, so the three of wands came out first. Three of wands in reverse, excuse me. And for some of you, you could be moving back home or, you know, you're, you're going back to a, um, a home environment or you're moving back to somewhere that you once were before. But also, I feel like 
for some of you, you you're not even sure what you're trying to manifest right now or you're not sure what your intentions are. So you might want to like, you know, pull back, go back to the drawing board, eight of pentacles in reverse, you know, perfect what you're doing right now. Work on your craftsmanship because for some of you, you, you might be feeling lazy or sloppy in your work or in your relationships, uh, finances, whatever. And you're not able to take on anything else. So um, what you're what you're putting out isn't ready to come in yet because there's still work that needs to be done on the home front. OK, you're not ready to move forward yet. Two of wands in a verse. Um, also, for some of you, you're not you shouldn't try to save other people. Hangman in reverse. If you're trying to do that, you need to be saving yourself. Seven of Swords in reverse. Self-deception. What's that about? Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse here for Sagittarius? What have, you, what have they been deceiving themselves about? For some of you, I just heard that you're wanting to jump into something else to um, avoid dealing with what it is that you need to do now. So it's like you guys, it's not saying you do this, but you guys might like, um, like you want something else, like whether this be another relationship, friendship, job, whatever. And it's like you haven't handled a mess over here, but then you want to move over here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you might, um, six of swords in the verse, needing to not move away from emotional baggage yet, not running away from your problems by taking on another task, but dealing with it right now. Okay. So that was very random. Uh, seven of swords in the verse. Why is the Seven of Swords in the verse here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the Seven of Swords in the verse here? For some of you, you're, you're, um, you might be deceiving yourself about any toxic habits that you have right now or um, deceiving yourself about your own self-sabotage, if that makes sense. So um, some of the predicaments that you were in you might find that um you're wanting to blame other people for um not to say that other people don't influence us influence us a lot in our path but you might be trying to you know trying to like blame it on something you know instead of just accepting it the way that it is and working through it okay uh needing to detach from what's unhealthy for you for some of you this is like a, an addiction to relationships, sexual addiction, um, justice reverse, some of you needing to right your wrongs before you can move forward again with this Libra and then the death card. And now we have the queen of wands in reverse with the king of wands in reverse, moon card in reverse. For some of you, um, what's, what's only holding yourself back is you at this point for some. And it's like the path is, is clear, but it's like you might be making up stuff in your head as to why you shouldn't move forward if that makes sense okay moon card in reverse seven of cups and and upright you might want to explore options more and also seven of wands in reverse let your guard down try your best to let your guard down and um either allow other people to help us you could be seeing seven 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 that's a that's one for you and virgo had that you have seven of cups seven of swords reverse and seven of wands so you, if you're seeing 777, that means that um, you're on the right track. And um, I can't remember the actual meaning for 777 at this time, but you can look it up and see if any of the meanings resonate for you, like on Google. Deception. I see a lot of deception here. All right. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know for the rest of September, please? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know about Sagittarius? I mean, what does Sagittarius need to know about September? All right. gosh oh my god release your ex Sagittarius remember y'all were y'all were on it y'all had that card five five readings in a row and it, it left for like two readings it's back now 
Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, gosh. What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? Unrequited love. Give your relationship a chance. It's interesting. New love. Hey. Soulmate. Oh, keep an open mind. This is all over the place. Anything else? Um, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's all over the place. It is safe for you to love. For some of you, you really are um, having a hard time trying to love one person. Or it's like you you were connecting to an ex and that's like the person that you love. Um, it could have been the person you love the most ever. And so it's hard for you to open that heart back up. And I, I understand completely. So you have, um, you have wedding. The situation involves marriage. And then you have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then you have um, you have unrequited love, soulmate, new love. So for some of you, um, you're having a hard time still releasing your ex, but you know that there's the, the bond is not there at this time, or it's not strong enough to be stable. It's not strong enough to keep going. And for others of you, you just met a new love, or you have a new love that's coming in. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And for some of you, this is a, a, a new soulmate or a new person. Like I said, your ex could have been a soulmate too. But, you know, you could have manifested a new soulmate because you have soulmate. And then this person might not be your usual type or this person is nothing like your ex. And it's it kind of throwing you off. Okay, but you have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So... Um, yeah, and then give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I feel like this is in regards to a new person that's coming in, new love. You have romantic feelings for this person. And for some of you, this is like a life partner stuff, okay? You might not know that yet. Um, but I feel like some of you are blocking new love from coming in or you're blocking other connections from manifesting because you're still focused on this ex or this past love and thinking that this was the best that it can ever get and that is just it's that's definitely an illusion okay that's that's denial that's an illusion that's a lot of things but um yeah spirit is wanting you to know that it is safe for you to love again it is safe for you to love someone just as much as you loved the last person okay and not to say that you know the ex can't be your life partner or whatever but you know, if that didn't work out, do try to um, know that we have a lot of different soulmates. There's different types of love and connection. So, you know, you don't have to be stuck on that one connection and thinking that was just the best that it can ever get. Because that's that's not true. All right. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For the rest of September, please. These cards do not want to shuffle. <clears throat> Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The rest of September, please. Whoa. Opportunity. Recovery. Sagittarius, wait. There's something better. Within the next few weeks, perfect timing, and that's it. Choose a new direction. So, like I was saying, Sagittarius, um, maybe your your lim your your limiting beliefs come from that you're not going to find anybody um, who is just as ideal for you, who makes you feel the same, who does the same things. But know that you do have an opportunity coming within the next few weeks if you're open to taking it. Whether this be a new job opportunity, a new um, connection a new something but there is better there is something better and you're being encouraged by your angels to choose a new direction okay the angels they fully support this decision they fully support it all right so you know continue to wait on this 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 perfect timing you're gonna see within the next few weeks things are really gonna start shifting for you the, situ the situation will improve Whatever it is that you're worried about that, you know, you, you can't find better, you can't do better for yourself, continue to recover from, you know, if you're still healing through stuff, if you're still trying to release certain things, but just just continue to, it's not that, that you're waiting, it's all about 
how you wait, what you do while you're waiting, while you're waiting for this new person, this new opportunity, this new job, it's coming, okay? So, you know, don't get discouraged, don't get stagnant while you wait, but just know that there's something better that's coming for you, a new opportunity to um, start again. Don't let yourself believe that you can't start again. All right, Sagittarius, so that's the message for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. This was very touching. I don't know. But um, yeah, this was the last sign for September. So I will see you guys um, in October. Not in October, but for October. And I'm going to finish the rest of this up on the Patreon so you can see um, what other advice we have. And if you're thinking about somebody specific, how they feel about you and all that stuff. So you can sign up to become a patron below. I am at Tarot by Bronx on everything. <laughs>